Hi, Dojo friends. One of the mods sent me this question from Grayson Gunner, so we'll answer it. Been loving your video, Master Norcross. You are truly a goat. Quick question. I noticed in some of your opening strikes, you turn the sire with your left hand and then draw. How do you prevent the sword from cutting the scabbard, especially on a rising cut? Wouldn't the weight of the sword cut into the sire? The answer, Grayson, is yes, it will. Here's a close-up of a sword. Now this one happens to have a metal koiguchi covering here. The koiguchi means mouth of the carp. This looks like a carp's mouth. Most of these are made of wood. This is a high-end sword, so it has a metal one. When you draw the sword, you'll see there's a space right here. I hope you can see that. If I do this with the sword, you'll see that the sharp part, and this is a very sharp sword, Don't you don't want this to hit the top as you're drawing it. A lot of people have cuts here and it will split the scabbard and they draw, they lift, they lift the sword up and the blade is putting friction there and cutting through the wood. You want the spine of the sword to be heavy at the bottom. You always want to remain a little bit of space here so as you're drawing the sword, naturally you don't lift it like that and cut over time. Same thing with a kiriage. Kiriage means upward cut. Whichever way I'm drawing the sword, whether it's sideways or I completely turn it, in this case, the blade is heavy here, so if I draw without lifting, I'm going to cut the saya again. The back of the blade, you want to lift as you pull it out, up, so that again the spine, you can see there's no cutting here onto the koiguchi. If I drop it, you'll see the blade is now hitting and it's going to cut over time. Especially when I put tension halfway out, the sword is getting more and more tension here it will definitely cut through. But when I'm drawing, it's very hard to see, but I'm not gonna do it with my right hand or I'll impede the view. When I'm drawing this way, with my right hand on the blade, I am lifting this up. You can see it's not touching. And that takes a lot of practice. It's not something you can do without thinking. And under duress, sometimes you'll still hit down here. So I wanna draw the sword out as I'm doing here without ever touching this part of the Koiguchi. Now watch me do it the bad way, risking the blade. I don't want that to scrape along there. Keep it up, not there, there, not there, there. Understand? So as you draw, the Mune is here. Keep the spine tight to the back. And then with the traditional draw, you want gravity to do the work for you. Don't lift let it fall and practice over and over again thousands of times it'll become nature of course as a kid i would cut the sire all the time because i didn't know these small techniques i was never shown i would put tape here to keep the sire from splitting which you can do you can put some hockey or some black tape there that's fine some duct tape anything you want to do to keep this from cutting until you get more skilled at drawing the sword properly without any cutting you don't ever cut sire anymore so Grayson, thank you for that good question on drawing the sword without destroying the scabbard. We really appreciate it. Keep your questions coming, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.